Hi, this is your host Abhinav Bhartia, and welcome to the 2023 Predictions series. And today we have with us once again our wise CEO and co-founder of Permit.io. Or it's great to have you on the show. It's great to be here. I'm really excited. Yeah, we cover a permit on a regular basis, but since we are doing this series and I'm going to ask you to pick up your crystal ball and share your predictions, but quickly remind us what is the company all about? Permit is a full stack permission solution with the premise of never having to build permissions again. Every product has to need has to have access control and permissions, but there's no reason for developers to keep building it. So we provide it out of the box uh, so you can actually focus on building your product. Excellent. And now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and tell us what predictions you have. So number one, DevSecOps and Dev Security is going to consume the entire space. Uh, we've seen the complexity of software rising. We've seen everything shifting left. Uh, but I'm afraid that was only the start. Uh, in, the, in this upcoming year, we'll see security trickling down to every persona, every stakeholder would have to be involved in some way. We'll have to produce new tools, new flows, new interactions where the product managers, uh, the compliance people themselves, sales, marketing, everyone will be able and will be required to chime in on security. As zero trust locks in all the spaces, we'll need everyone touching every space to participate in building security. Number two, uh, effects on development technology and everything as code. So in the past few years, uh, infrastructure as code has dramatically dominated the space uh, and became a standard. Uh, and it's already starting to affect other spaces. Configuration as code, policy as code, um, our supply chain as code. We're seeing that with uh, our software bill of materials with SBOM. Um, so we'll be literally seeing everything as code. Every little piece of ground that we've uh, so far just left for uh, humans and maybe more simpler data and schema configurations is going to be filled uh, with um, code and uh, those would be uh, harnessing more people to write that code. Some of them will be writing it with cl as classic code and coding languages and some of them will have to start harnessing no code, low code interfaces. Which brings us to number three, low code, no code. Um, this has been a buzzword for a while. We've seen uh, platforms and solutions coming up to dominate this space with that specific differentiating offer. Uh, and this is going to become less of a gimmick and less of a, a utility and more so something that is common throughout the entire space. Uh, we'll be seeing low-code, no-code being powered by new interfaces. If drag and drop was the way to go with it in the past, more and more we'll see more sophisticated interfaces, mainly driven by AI, uh, things that like uh, generative AI with prompt engineering uh, becoming a uh, basically a classic way to interact with most of our software. Um, this will essentially mean that um, everyone will become an engineer um, because you'll be driving complex systems with these interfaces. And more often than not, these interfaces will also be generating code for you. Number four, basically bringing all of these together. We'll see security proliferate into the entire space. We'll see uh, policy as code and uh, everything as code becoming the baseline of how we manage all of our complexities. And we'll see how no code and low code through uh, AI interfaces and other uh, simplifying interfaces become the way that we manage all of these things together. So security, everything is code and low code to connect it all together. That's what I'm seeing for 2023. Uh, thanks for sharing those predictions. Tell us a bit about what is going to be the focus for the company in 2023. Obviously, a lot of the predictions that I've given here are from my unique perspective or permits unique perspective into the market. We're in a very interesting intersection of DevSecOps between developers uh, building software and uh, security for that software. Access control in general is a critical fundamental experience that every application has to have. Um, but the more applications are growing, it becomes more and more complex to manage them. So that really forces us as Permit, uh, alongside the customers we support, to tackle the question of how can we manage that complexity and how we can make it easy enough for everyone building a product 
uh, to actually focus on building the product as opposed to dealing with all of this complexity. Um, and I think people are seeing that um, just like with authentication and encryption, you less and less want to roll authorization on your own. You want to rely on something. And so with these predictions, we are essentially seeing that we have to bring these interfaces to the market. We need to enable our customers to work with low code to be able to manage their policies, to be able to define their zero trust architectures and security into what they're building with DevSecOps. And uh, in the end of the day, to keep everything manageable, to keep everything with a single source of truth, we really think that that's where policies code uh, is coming in. Um, and that really forces us to build very, very fine-tuned interfaces for our customers. So all of these things can uh, chime in together. What are the challenges that you see will be there in 2023? And how do you see Permit helping customers kind of navigate through some of those challenges? I think one of the unique things that will kind of come to a head in 2023 is um the widespread and depth of compliance it's been it's kind of a kind of a dragon looming in the background for quite a while uh, we've started to see it take effect with gdpr and ccpa and even classic things like SOC 2 and hipaa um, these are kind of driven, I wouldn't say a, by a vicious cycle, but some kind of cycle. More and more companies are catering to more compliance companies, and as a result, they have to be compliant themselves. At this point, um, I think within 2023, maybe 2024, we'd be hard-pressed to find any B2B company that doesn't have at least one uh, compliance certification in place. Um, so this kind of creates a baseline, essentially for the market, kind of a uh, tide that floats all boat. Everyone would have to face compliance. Everyone's going to have to go through these processes. And then the question is, what tools do they have in place to um, mitigate all of this additional work that is being added? And for permits specifically, we are realizing that a, a huge percentage of the work around compliance is essentially work around checks and balances of access control. Who can do what? So automating that, um, creating the interfaces to work with them more easily becomes not just something that is uh, important and accelerating, and it becomes something that is critical so you ac can actually get to building the things that you want. Or right, thank you so much for taking time out today and, of course, share these uh, predictions with us. I didn't want to put any pressure, but, you know, of course, we'll have you next year again. And uh, hold a scorecard to see how many of these predictions turn out to be true and get a new set of predictions for uh, next year. But I really appreciate your insights today and uh, look forward to talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I look forward for next year and uh, thanks for having me.